Hi guys and welcome to our 2014 Intel Haswell build. Now this build actually started in 2013 and we did show you some of the parts throughout the years, especially the case and a few other things, but it took us quite a while. We got busy, the CES travel, all sorts of stuff. Um, so that's why we didn't finish this, but here it is, it's finished and it's done. So uh, first of all, I wanna thank all the partners helping us in this build, uh, Antec for the, the case, the P280 case, uh, Intel for the uh, um, Haswell processor, as well as the Intel motherboard, which we're using. Uh, also um, Kingston, Kingston for the Fury RAM, as well as the HyperX uh, SSD. And then uh, Toshiba for providing our supplementary drives, uh, three terabyte storage, as well as a hybrid uh, one terabyte drive. And we'll tell you why we're having all those drives there in a second um, as well. And also uh, fractal design for the 1000 watt power supply and, um, and also diamond multimedia for the uh, Radeon R9 280X uh, graphics card. So it's a bunch of stuff here and let's go ahead and start it. So I'm gonna actually walk around with the camera so it might be shaky a little bit. I just want to show you a lot of stuff. So here's the case, the P280X, uh, P280. Uh, open it up in the front panel. Uh, you can see uh, we added a uh, two an extra fan here. One th cool thing about the front panel is the dust. Um, you can also take that out and clean out for dust and things like that. Those are nice, quiet fans. Keep it cool. We have our drive bays. We didn't put any drives into the system. We ran all everything. We ran everything without uh, drive. We've got two USB 3.0s at the top. Let's just tilt this a little bit more here. Uh, and then to USB 2.0, you got your headphone and your mic ports. So um, let's, let's move this out here. Let's get a little closer to this bad boy. So as we move up here, you can see the power buttons on the top with the reset buttons away from this area. I, you know, I, I like the fact that it's not in front in the front panel where I might make a mistake and hit it for some reason. Then you also have uh, two Antec fans here on the top. Um, these fans do make some noise, I've noticed uh, while using this, this build. But overall, the build is solid, it is clean. I'm just gonna pan around here. I apologize for not doing a professional pan and zoom for you. But it's a nice, cool case uh, all around, all together. So let's take a look at the uh, in internals of the case. So I'm gonna mount this back. I'm gonna spin around a little bit and uh, open up the side panel of the case for you. So, I'm gonna tilt it this way. Here we go. Pull that out. And hopefully you can see that. Actually, let's, let's make this a little straight. And uh, I'll bring some extra lighting in here for you. So here is the internals. Uh, we try to keep the cable management as good as possible. As you can see, the power supply at the very bottom of the, it is not a modular power supply. So that's why you have these extra cables. If not, it would be much cleaner. There is, of course, a removable mesh at the very bottom of the case. So there is a filter there which you can actually use. So. Looking at the whole build case here as a whole, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of things. Now, you can see our cooling system is from Corsair. Uh, we actually picked that up from Corsair. They actually sponsor, we just went out and bought that there. So we've got a Corsair cooling system on our Intel, um, our Intel Core i7 um, board, uh, sorry, chip. Now the motherboard is a DZ87KLT-75K. This is one of the last motherboards uh, Intel will be making full-size boards. They're gonna concentrate on the nooks. Uh, this board is, it's a good board. It's a little tricky. Um, we found out that a lot of people had issues trying to get uh, 32 gigabytes of uh, storage on here. The trick is actually starting off with just one DIMM and moving forward. But we're running 62 right now. We're gonna move that up to 32 in a second. Water cooling here for our, our board. We've got the Fury uh, drive, the white. I love that uh, offset white color there. Now you can see our graphics card is right here. That is the Radeon um, R9 uh, 280X from Diamond, which gives us, you know, the uh, two display ports, it's got HDMI and DVI ports there. And you've got, of course, you've got the um, a full pin set up there on the board. Let's take a look at um, our storage solution and what we have there for storage. I'm just gonna pick this up again and bring it closer so you guys will get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So in terms of storage, you can see at the very top there, I have, that's the uh, HyperX drive. So that's where my Windows uh, software is running. And then below that, right there, is your 
Toshiba hybrid drives, a one terabyte hybrid drive, and I'm using that strictly for uh, games and applications. So games applications can access faster because it's a much bigger space. I can store more games there than on my uh, SSD. And then below I have a three terabyte drive strictly for storage, especially all the border work videos that we make. So that's why we have that set up there. We also have one extra drive that we are using, and I'm just gonna mount this back for you. It's actually a Thunderbolt drive because this motherboard supports Thunderbolt. So we're able to get ourselves a Thunderbolt drive here. And the idea is that this is actually the rendering drive. So while I am rendering videos off the SSD into this, it's much faster process and it actually worked out well. And then we transfer that to the Toshiba storage. Now, taking a look at the back panel here of the case, just to give you a good idea, you can see Clearly, you've got six USB 3.0 ports, a lot of USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0. You do have uh, two gigabyte ethernet ports, Firewire, HDMI, if you're using the boards on built-in graphics through the, um, the core i7 4770K. Uh, your audio complement is with the optical end, as well as a lightning bolt port. So that's where our lightning bolt will be connected. Here's the back end of our GPU. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for our build, you know, all together. Hopefully you guys like this. Let's fire this up. We'll check out the visual bios and then we'll round this up. I will attach a link from Pit Locker, uh, Pick Locker, so you guys can see how much this whole build will actually cost. Again, in terms of parts for the build, what we have here, we have a Core i7-4770K, an Intel DBZ87, um, uh, KLT-75K uh, motherboard. We have 16 gigabytes of uh, Fury RAM. We have also a Radeon uh, 20, a Radeon uh, R9 uh, 280X uh, graphics card. We do have here Fractal Design one terabyte uh, Tesla um, power supply. We do then in terms of storage. Our storage complement includes the HyperX um, 240 gigabyte HyperX drive as well as um, two Toshiba drives. One is one terabyte hybrid and one is a three terabyte full drive all together. Then we have the, the Antec case right here. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoy that. Let's check, take a look at the visual bios and we'll round up this video. So our system is fired up and we're looking at our Intel visual bios here. And you can see, um, the cool thing about this bios I really like is that you've got control of your mouse. And we saw that last year with the uh, last Intel build, but it shows you everything here, visually your BIOS model, CPU, UFI, legacy, um, overclocking assistance. I can go ahead and overclock that if I choose, um, you know, all that fun stuff, my graphics, internal graphics card speed, memory, it's at 133, and my cooling, I can go into advanced uh, for each one performance and things like that so it's nice to see that and um it's pretty cool but let's just fire up the system i wanted to actually show you guys uh, exit by all right so here. systems fired up showing you some of the system specs here so you can actually clearly see um Intel Core i7 4770k 16 gigabytes of ram um 64 bit based system this is also has the new amd uh, r9 280x now here are the hard drive configurations we talked about we have uh, SSD here from Kingston and then our Toshiba drives, which is interesting what I do with the Toshiba drives and the, uh, you can see here the hybrid drive here has a combination of, um, basically it's a hybrid drive combined um, flash drive and SS and a storage drive combined together. And uh, you can see this is what I'm doing. I'm storing all my games. So basically I want my games run as fast as possible. I, I have a lot of games. Um, I don't want that to be on my C drive. So I'm using the hybrid drive. And since it's a terabyte, it works very, very well for fast game boot ups and things like that. And my S drive, which is a three terabyte uh, Toshiba drive. That's where I store all the board work videos that I've rendered final storage. And then here is the uh, th uh, Thunderbolt drive that has the quick renders for what I've done. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, that's the build. If you have any questions or any comments about this PC build, that's it right there. We have Superman by the side. Um, let us know. Again, do like this video, share this video. We will do a room tour. And of course the tour of the headphone wall. Yes, 
so you guys can see. But this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.